OK, well, it is the most scandalous sapphic storyline in Soapland, and it isn't going on in Emmerdale. Let's start a whole new life together. You, me and our baby. It would be perfect. I've never been more serious in my life. What if you change your mind, though? I don't want to be hurt again. I won't. I promise. So you really want to do this? Yes. Yes, of course I do. Do you have any idea how good it feels to hear you say that? <laughs> uh, girls kissing. Huh. On screen, they're lusty Karen and Kelly, but in the flesh, they're Tanya Franks and Nikki Tilarico. Welcome to Pure So. Thank, Thank you very much. Now, Tanya, let me come to you first. How did you react when you got that bisexual storyline? Actually, I was quite looking forward to it, to be honest, because I've never played a, a bisexual or a lesbian before. What so was, it was something quite different for me. What was the reaction? What was your reaction when you found out about the story? Um, well, actually, when I got the job on Family Affairs, I didn't realise I was a lesbian. It's only when I was recently that I just started yeah. sleeping with women. Yeah. As a lesbian. <laughs> um, but no, it was great. I mean, really enjoyable, and I like working with Tanya. So we've been lucky. Now, Tanya, although Nikki is a very attractive woman, mm. is there anybody else on the on the set of Family Affairs that you'd rather have snogged? Well, out of the other women. Out of the other women. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Well, no, 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 there isn't. If, there, oh, if I was going to snog anyone, it might as well be Nikki, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Well, She's we've got... the girl for me. Oh, <laughs> look at that. This true love. And they're even getting closer, as they say. They're getting warmer there. I so we've got Greer from <laughs> Sheffield on the line. Come on, ask Tanya and Nikki. Um, hi, my question is for Tanya. Um, if Matt hadn't found out about Karen's affair, do you think that she'd ever have told him the truth about her feelings for Kelly, or do you think she'd have kept it a secret forever? I... I think, that's a difficult one really, um, but I think she probably would have kept it a secret. Yeah. Because she does really love Matt and I, I, I think this is a predicament she got herself involved in. And although she does really love me as well, um, I think to break up the family and to break up the marriage was more horrendous than perhaps her future with Kelly. Now, Tanya, I know you're here with your uh, partner. I right? am, yes. And uh, it's very nice you bring your boyfriend up. You know. <laughs> yeah. How has he reacted to this story? Like? Uh, well, it's been, quite, it's been quite <laughs> interesting, actually, because I thought he was going to be all for it. But uh, <laughs> actually, he, was, um, he finds it quite... He, he, he does find it quite difficult. I, and I don't think it's necessarily about the fact whether it's lesbian or not, but right. it's the fact that I think he finds the whole deceit thing a bit, mm. you know... Um, he, he, does, he finds it quite creepy. Yeah. And uh, he doesn't really like it seeing Karen initiating the, uh, you know, the situation with Kelly. Mm -hmm. um, and now it's all blown up, and he he gets really upset when Karen gets really upset. And he's <laughs> oh, right. taking it all it too is, seriously. He does. He really takes it to heart. Mate, well, he says he does anyway. I mean, he mate, just, it's it's TV. Really, <laughs> don't don't worry about it. Um, so, Nikki, I mean, you're not from around these parts. No. I'm uh, not. But you've been you've been here for a while. What what soap are you fans of here? This, this country soaps. Oh, this country soaps? Yeah. Oh, well, Family Affairs is obviously my favourite. Absolutely. But I do... <laughs> Give that woman a raise. <laughs> but I do um, tend to catch East End and Hollyoaks as well. I like to watch the Hollyoaks omnibus. OK, well, we've got some questions for you from our uh, message board. Nikki, uh, when you came to Britain to take part in the Family Affairs, uh, did you come to Britain, sorry, to take part in Family Affairs? Were you already over here? I was already over here. Uh, I went to drama school over here, so... OK. Uh, this one is going out to uh, Tanya. Uh, how did you get to where you are today in your acting career and what did you do when you were younger? And what's your favourite colour, which would be the other question <laughs> on that, really. What did I do when I was younger? Um, well, I, I knew from a very young age that I wanted to act. So I, um, I went to drama school at the age of 16. I went straight from secondary school yeah. into drama school. And I was out a month before I was 18. So when I was 18, I was actually producing shows of my own. Cool. And um, that, that's what got me started. And I did, most of my career has been theatre. OK, well, um, and this is we are on TV and we've got some callers. We've got Lucy from Hawkshead. Lucy, you're on. I'm going to ask the girls. Hello. Um, yeah, I've got a question for both Tanya and Nikki. And I'd like to ask them um, if their characters could snog any other characters from any other soap. Yeah. Who would it be? <laughs> <laughs> what would it be? Go on. Oh, gosh, I don't know. It's male or female? Yeah, male or um, <laughs> well, let's keep. I'd have to say female. Let's keep the oh, theme going. Oh, um, oh, I don't know. Well, I would say um, not cats from EastEnders because I know what it's like to snog someone with a lot of lipstick on now. So, um, <laughs> so I'd go down that route again. 
Um, and for you, come on. Oh, I don't know. It's oh, there's so many to it's choose from. Lynch from Coronation Street. <laughs> That's what it is. That's right. Yeah. Or oh, Dot Cotton. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give her a snog. Yeah, yeah. See, there you go. We're we're all inclusive on this show. Uh, okay, now. Uh, we've got one from Yasmin Slater. Uh, this is to both of you, so we'll start with you, Tanya. Which other current soap character would you play out of the soaps? So what's your favourite character, basically? Um, out of any other soaps? Well, I, su I suppose, really, I probably would look to an EastEnders character, and I suppose it probably would be somebody like... It would either be Little Mo or Cat, really, I think, at the moment, of the characters at the moment, because so I think they are... a bit of are. depth and a bit of flesh. And yeah, mm. well, I think, you know, they do Especially get some... Mo's case. They've had some really fantastic storylines, and that's what keeps me going. So. And you? you? definitely have to be in the Slater family, because yeah. they're just such strong women as well, mm. and they do get to have all the fun. Well, there you go. Well, do you know what? I can't work out whether it's the torrid, ugly, sordid love affairs that are affecting me, or just the haircuts and the clothes. There's some <laughs> awful looks going on there, weren't there? Tanya and Nikki are back with us, and we're ready to talk soaps and everything soap-related to take more of your calls. Uh, we've got Deb from Barnsley on the phone, uh, on the line. Deb, what do you want to say to Tanya and Nikki? Hi. Um, if you could bring any deceased soap character back to life, who would it be? Oh, back from the grave. Oh, crumbs. Oh, Tiffany. Tiffany. Yeah, definitely. Not she was even great. in the slightest annoying. Oh yeah, but <laughs> nicely annoying. Oh, okay. What about you? <laughs> I think. Um, oh God, I'm going back years, but I reckon Meg Richardson from Crossroads. Ooh. When? She was what? years ago. I what? When like <laughs> really years ago, when I was really Cross tiny. Rich, Cross Cross <laughs> Crossroads first time oh, round, okay. and I was. See, I my favourite soap character ever was Jimmy Corkill of Brookside. Oh. I love Jimmy Corkill. Yeah. And Jimmy Corkill ruled. Those shell said dodgy business yeah. dealings, we loved a bit, <laughs> a bit of that. bit dodgy, wasn't it? He was well dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what, on our, uh, via our email, uh, Diane Stamborough has, uh, once a question, uh, has got a question for you. Uh, Nikki first. Did you watch Big Brother? Who did you want to win? And why do, you pe why do you think people seem to be so obsessed with this kind of reality TV show? So there's three questions there. Really. Oh, God. I, I did watch Big Brother. Yeah. I wanted Alex to win. Uh, ooh. ooh. <laughs> um, uh, he was just really, really interesting. Probably the most interesting person I thought in there. He just made me laugh as well. He was so over the top. Well, do you think they're like, um, I mean, they're just basically soap operas, aren't they? But with real people. Uh, like the yeah, most boring I think soap they're opera. actually less real than soap operas. <laughs> 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 well, they just don't do anything. We've got Anthony from Blackburn on the line. Anthony, what do you want to say to the girls? Yeah, hello, Imran. Um, just wondering, do the girls think that soaps are ability to sort of inform and educate people, or, or should they just be there to entertain us? I'll check the sociology student out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I, I, well, I think a bit of each, to be yeah. honest, because I do I think that there's... Uh, I think there have been a lot of storylines in soaps where um, it, people have probably been able to watch them and, you know, it might make them think about certain things and certain aspects. But does it make you cringe? I mean, with in your storyline, obviously, mm. you know, the programme makers feel a certain responsibility. It's a lesbian storyline. Yeah. Maybe there's girls, you know, young girls that are a bit confused about their feelings. Da, 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 mm. da, da, yeah. da. Yeah. But they feel a bit sort of cringeworthy when the soap's over and they said, if you've been affected by any of the issues in this programme, please ring this number now. Well, yeah. In a, yeah, in a way, but I do think if it does help people, then that's great. Um, and uh, from letters that I've got, I think that that's certainly been the case. We've got Suzanne from Folkestone on the line at the moment. Suzanne, you're live on Pure Soap. What do you, you want to say? Um, I would just like to say, really, I used to quite enjoy watching a lot of soaps, but um, I don't seem to watch them anymore. They, a lot of them seem to be quite depressing at the moment. And it, it's, <laughs> it's been going on for quite a while now. <laughs> do you know what my mum says that? She, she says, we're not on that DVD, which is Punjabi yeah. for there's too much crying and, and, and stuff on the telly. <laughs> yeah. See, what happens to Dallas? Now, that was a positive oh, thing. Yeah. Glamour and a Glamour. bit glitz. Are, they, are soap operas too depressing? Well, I mean, things like Dallas was just so unrealistic, weren't mm. they? I yeah. mean, that was the thing. There was something you could look at it, and it was almost like iconic because you sort of went, "Oh, wow, they're just gorgeous," and but you know, and, and have loads of money and mm. glamour and all that. But sort I of think there's something for everybody. I mean, because I think th that's one one of the appeal of the Australian soaps is that they are quite light, sunny, and you know, then the British soaps have the true hardcore drama, which well, is great. But I think we like drama. <laughs> that's the thing. I mean, uh, you know, uh, we sort of say this, but then they are one of the most well, they are most watched on television. Oh, okay. You know, the most popular things on television. And so we'll have a mix of drama yeah. and glamour. Yeah. You know, those, can you imagine EastEnders mixed so. with Dallas? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We've got Dan now from North London. Dan, what do you want to say? 
Ahoy, man. Um, yeah, I've been from Crossroads Fan all my life. Um, in fact, I run a, a, a Crossroads Fan Club online. I'm um, just really <laughs> disappointed what Carlton have done with new Crossroads they brought back last year. Uh, it's just, um, they, they said they were going to bring back three of the original characters, and they got rid of them right after the first three months. Um, and it's, it really bears no relation to the original Crossroads. Do you know what, Dan? You've just yeah. got far too much time on your hands, mate. <laughs> far, far too much time on your hands. Um, what uh, it's just really, I find it really disappointing. There's a lot of people who, who feel the same. They just feel that um, they Central, um, who did Crossroads originally, um, they, they like had 18 million viewers for it. And they brought it back and, and you know, everyone was, there was a lot of publicity about it. And they only get 3 million viewers now. Dan, I'm almost embarrassed for you. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we've got Nikki from Hartfield on the line next. But before we go to her, so hold your answers, a um, question via email. And, oh, OK. Uh, it's, uh, no, in fact, we're going to the, we're gonna go to the caller on the line now because <laughs> I, just, I, I just can't read the handwriting on this card. Uh, what do you want to say to the girls? Hi, uh, Nikki and Tanya. Um, um, my question is for Nikki, actually. Um, I was going to ask you, Nikki, um, what attracted you to the role of Kelly, and do you think that you've brought any of your own personal quality back to her? Um, well, I really, really enjoy playing Kelly, because she is uh, strong, feisty, knows her own mind. Um, they're all part of me as well, <laughs> I think. Um, but I do really, really enjoy playing her. And we've, I think we've all... We're going to have to leave it there. We're going to have to leave it there, girls. We've ran out of time.